Hey guys, today is more of a video directed at Ubisoft. Now my voice may or may not be heard, but I want to make this video anyways because I feel that this is quite important to me uh, considering I make YouTube videos. I, like many others, absolutely love this game and it's become the only FPS I play nowadays. I haven't played an FPS as much as the, uh, Siege since the COD 4 days and I'm quite literally hooked on it. Now that 5.1 dropped recently, there's been a couple patches since then. Um, there's been quite a lot of problems with the game and... I don't want to overreact to be like, oh no, it's broken and it's it's kind of broken. But there's like every time a new patch comes out, there is a new bug that comes with it. It feels like there's this whole this whole one step forward, two steps back. Now I am the I might not be the only one. I may be the only one, sorry, that is not looking forward to seeing new operators. Now that's my biggest problem with season two. I've already bought the season pass. I'll, I'll put my hands up and say that because I like to support this game, but I do not support new operators coming to the game. And even if loads of people didn't buy the season pass, I'm sure they'd do it anyway because uh, there's probably some sort of analyst in there who's like, oh yeah, new operators equal more players. No. Um, I honestly feel like new operators would just saturate the game, not exclude old ones, but just bring too many gimmicky things to the table. Like, I absolutely hate Blackbeard because the game has an, a thing called a one-shot headshot. So you get shot in the head once, you die. Buy pretty much any gun other than shotguns for whatever reason. Um... And he has a, 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 a shield for his head. Now, like stuff like that really annoys me because that just that just shows no offense to the guys over at Ubisoft, a lack of creativity. Like at first, when I first heard of him, I was defending him. Now I absolutely bloody hate Blackbeard. Um, I would not like to see any more operators with gimmicky things like that. Like with Hibana, it feels like like I don't think she's broken. I don't think she think she's gimmicky, but it feels like with Hibana and Echo, they were running out of ideas. Like even. Even Caveira seems gimmicky. That's not a gadget. That's a that's an ability to interrogate someone. In in reality, they should all be able to do that. Um, so, with with the whole operator thing, I'm just suggesting that hold off with the operators. I would honestly like to see maybe two or four operators per year. Um, I I would honestly hope that we don't see a sequel to Siege until this game's been out to maybe three to five years. I know it sounds like a really long time, but I think the game would benefit from being out that long. I think this game needs more attention and more care than instead of more uh, more content uh, being shoved into the game. Um, for me, this is like the most unique FPS that I can play. I, I was so excited for Battlefield 1, played it, got bored of it, jumped back on Siege. And I'm sure there are a lot of people that did that because Siege engages with you in a way that you have to use your brain, you have to think. But... When, when there's stuff in the game like bad hit detection, it really pisses you off. And it's made me want to turn the game off. Like the new lighting system, I didn't think this would annoy me so much. But not the new lighting system, but the new ranking system. It's so frustrating. Like playing like countless hours in the first three seasons to hit diamond. And now you can do it within the first week. And you lose a game and then you drop out of rank. But you win a game and you don't get put back up a rank. It's so, so annoying. And the new lighting system, like not new lighting system the broken lighting uh like you can't defend not not like you need to peek all the time but like you can't defend and like pick someone that's running in a room without like being absolutely blinded or look out a window to check if anyone's there uh, without being blinded there's so many things that like really annoy me about this game and the the only saving grace is the fact that the you the gameplay is so unique and so addictive that if this was any other game, if this was COD or Battlefield, I wouldn't have touched it. Like I really wouldn't have. So I, I would love it if I know I'm sure Ubisoft has, like you know, have noticed or acknowledged the fact that their game is it's like they've got a gem. In other words, um, sorry, this isn't scripted. I'm, I'm sure you're noticing it by now. I probably should have made the disclaimer at the beginning, but um, I feel like if I scripted it, I would, it, I wouldn't get what I wanted to get across. Uh, all, all these new things to coming into my head that I want to say. But from a player on the PS4, this game uh, feels like it gets not enough love in terms of testing and with the patches coming out. It's like, yes, new content, but at the same time, it's like, oh, like I said, the game could break more. <laughs> and it's no surprise when you're playing and then you can't connect to your friends and you get an error when you're trying to join, uh, trying to just log on to the game. Like, you just sit there like, yep, yeah, that's typical. But I would also like to say thank you for the free a year free years worth of free content play I can't speak um, I can't fault your pricing model when it comes to the DLC but like I said 
please take some time out to focus on squashing bugs. Maybe maybe I'm overreacting, but I feel like the patching system is one step forward, two steps back, and the last patch of season four has been the worst in terms of new bugs. Um, but maybe because I'm on the PS4, I'm getting a worse experience to those on Xbox and PC. But that's just uh, my two cents. I, that's what I would like to see from Ubisoft. Um, if you have any different opinions or you agree or disagree, uh, please leave a comment down below. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. And if you didn't, leave a thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next one.